Watch it guys, Windows cannot be installed on this drive. This is what we're gonna take a look at today. When you click on this, you'll see Windows cannot be installed on this disk. Uh, the computer's hardware may not support booting to this disk. Ensure that the disk controller is enabled in the computer BIOS menu when you click on more information. So this was a drive that had Windows on it before. And what I've done is I've deleted all of the partitions and now we have drive zero unallocated space. But when you try to create a new partition and apply this, you won't be able to. You're going to get basically Windows cannot be installed on Drive 0 Partition 1. If you click on the delete, what you're going to get is basically the partition may contain important files and data, and this will be erased. So now we know that we do have a Drive 0 unallocated space, and we want to be able to uh, put Windows on this drive. So I'm going to show you a couple of options that you can do. To try to rectify this issue first you can convert to gpt or you can convert to mbr to try to install windows on that drive so you can try to push shift f10 and this will open up the command prompt box now we're going to need to open up disk part because we want to convert either to gpt partition or mbr partition depending on which one you're using right now so type disk part inside uh, the command prompt here and this will open up a disk part and what we're going to do here is we're going to type in here list disk and basically once we do this it's going to list all of the disks on this computer so push enter and this will give us the list of all the drives and you can see disk zero is the one we're interested in so what we're going to do here is we're going to select disk zero by typing select disk zero and this will then give us the option to do stuff to that drive so let's go ahead and type this out, select space disk and then space zero. Now, if yours is a different uh, disk number, then you need to put that number in there. Now we've got it selected. What we're going to do here is we're going to type in here clean. So once we type clean, this will clean the disk. So I'm going to go ahead and type clean and we can then go ahead and then we can convert to either GPT or MBR. So we have erased the whole disk. We've deleted all the partitions here. And what we're trying to do is convert the drive to MBR or GPT. So whatever one you want to convert to will allow you to try to install Windows. So we'll try GPT first and we'll go back and we'll push custom. We'll refresh and we'll try to install. You can see already it's not allowing me to install uh, this on this GPT setting. And that's because it's not allowing GPT, it's probably MBR. So you need to know exactly which one you're gonna use because yours might be MBR uh, or GPT, depending on what it is, especially if it's a used drive that's been used before. And this is what you'll need to determine before you can continue to install Windows on that drive. So let's go back into command prompt here by pushing Shift F10, and we'll try the MBR one this time. So type in there disk part again like before and then from here we're going to now do the same thing we're going to do list disk and see what the disks are we know it's drive zero so disk zero we can now type select disk zero and we'll go ahead and do this and there we go so that's now done select this we can do clean again type clean so let's go ahead and do this that clean in there, there we go. And now what we need to do is convert to MBR. So convert MBR. So whatever one you need, use that one. Okay, so you don't have to do both, just either use MBR or GPT. So we're gonna go ahead and type convert MBR. And we're gonna push enter. And you can see already, it's not allowing me to do it. And the reason why is because it was in the message that we read earlier on. You can see Windows could not create a partition and it was in the message where it says, check your BIOS menu. So always read the messages that are being popped up on your screen. So sometimes people make these videos and they're not being clear on the things that you need to try. So let's close this off because it's not gonna work and we need to shut down a PC and go into the BIOS. Now this is an older computer and inside the BIOS, you can check inside the security tab here where it says secure boot and you can see secure boot is disabled 
Now, if you're trying to enable secure boot, you'll get a message popping up here and you'll see it says secure boot is not allowed if legacy options ROMs are enabled. Now, when I got this laptop, it was basically set up like this. So this is the reason why when I've gone to install, you get this error code. So if we go to boot sequence here and uh, we can see, I'm going to put the Windows boot manager at the top here and we can see the boot list option was set to UEFI. And if I put it on legacy, it's going to allow us now to see the internal hard drive on UEFI. It wasn't available. So when I put UEFI on, you can see the hard drive uh, disappeared. So always check your BIOS first to make sure you've got the right settings set, set in the BIOS. And now we're on the right setting. We should be able to install Windows on this drive here. So let's go ahead and boot back up uh, to our USB flash drive with Windows on it. So this is the USB storage device. I'm going to select this one here and we can push enter. And there we go. You can see legacy boot and UEFI boot. They can be quite confusing. And uh, we'll let that uh, boot up. And hopefully this will uh, fix our problem. We'll be able to install Windows and remove uh, what was on there previously. This was from an office that had some sort of installation with encrypted drive and a it was on the domain. So it needs to be removed. So we can now click next, click install, and this should open up the next window here where we can then start to test to see whether this is going to resolve our issue. So let it load up. It does take a bit of time. So be patient. There we go. Click next again, custom, and there we are. It's now been removed. So now we should be able to click next and install uh, Windows on this drive. So if this does happen to you, you can either check the convert to MBR or GPT, or you can go into the BIOS and check to make sure uh, that the settings are in the right place. I would check with the BIOS first because that way you don't have to go through the command prompt procedure. And hopefully this will resolve your problem and allow you to install uh, Windows on that hard drive or SSD. So very simple solution there. And you can see it's now starting to install no problems at all. Now, if you're on another version of Windows, then this method does work as well. You will get this error code on other versions of Windows. So bear that in mind, you can use this fix to try and fix that issue. It's not just for this operating system here. But again, hopefully this will help you resolve your problems. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Special shout out goes to Big Daddy Oka's fan, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Houston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Bill's Computer Repair, and Welsh Tony One. Thanks again for your support, guys. I really do appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section below what sort of videos you want to see, and I shall catch you in the next video. If you've joined our Discord server and you are a YouTube member, let me know in the general chat, and I will give you the appropriate role. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.